Hello all and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to talk about the rebate processing in SAP S4 HANA. So what are rebates? Rebates are the subsequent discounts which can be given to the customers. For example, if you agreed with the customer that whatever business you will do with a particular customer, for example, if you have done the total billing of 100,000 USD in a month, uh, you will be giving maybe 5% discount at the end of the month. So whatever is the total business volume, on that 5%, you will be giving the credit memo to the customer. So if that is your agreement and you want the system to automatically calculate the rebate based on the total sales which has been done to the customer, you can use rebate processing in SAP S4 HANA. Previously, in SAP ECC, rebates was handled using a separate component. Uh, so if you already worked on SAP ECC, you might be knowing the transaction ports VOB1 and the other transactions which are related to the old functionality. Those transaction ports and that functionality is no more available in SAP S4 HANA. In SAP S4 HANA, rebate processing works with the new component called as settlement management and under that it works on the condition contract management. Okay, so I'll just give you the glimpse of how exactly this functionality looks like. So within logistics, you will go to settlements management. Okay, this is a, as I told you, this is a new component within the settlement management. We are talking about condition contract management. Uh, within condition contract management, this is where you will be able to create the contract. Okay, so this is a transaction code WCOCO to create a contract. And then at the end of the month or at the end of the quarter, whenever you want to perform the settlement, you can do the settlement through this particular node. Now you can see it can be uh, the contract with the supplier. It can be the contract with customer. In this session, uh, I'm talking about the contract with customer. Okay, but the same functionality is available for contract with suppliers also. So let's try to create a contract. Let me tell you how the contract is created normally. So you'll open this transaction code WCOCO and from here you can see there is a create button. So you can click on the create button. Now there are n number of contract types which are provided by SAP as per the base practices. Okay, so depending upon what suits you uh, from the sales side, from the purchase side, there are n number of contracts. But in this example, what I'm showing you, I'm showing you the rebate which we are providing to the customer on the total business volume which is billed to customer, okay? So depending upon how much is already billed to the customer, I want to provide some subsequent discount at the end of the month. So for that, the standard one, I'm using 0S01. This is, if you even follow uh, the SAP uh, base practices, you will find that this is what they have provided, 0S01 as a condition contract type. Just enter this and click on enter. Okay, and now here you need to specify the dates. So what is the contract uh, validity? So let's assume I want to tell the system that this contract is valid from uh, maybe let's say 10th of April 2023 to uh, let's say 30th of April 2023. Okay, you will enter the customer with whom you are having this contract. So uh, I will enter one of the customer here. Okay, in my case, I will use my sales organization, which I already created. Okay, and I'll go with this particular customer, right? Uh, now there are some other details that you need to mention. For example, all these things are optional or uh, depending upon your need, you can enter those details, but otherwise you can just proceed uh, with sales organization. So I will go with organization BTDO, uh, PM and PK. This is my sales area. Okay, and then uh, in the business volume selection criteria, this is where you will be telling the system that what would be the criteria based on which system will calculate what is the total business volume, how much was the total sales. So here you will be able to click on this new line and system will ask you various different criteria. Okay, so you want all the sales to be considered for the customer or you want to consider all the sales for the particular sales organization or you want to consider a particular material even if you come down there will be the combination of material and uh, you can have multiple combinations okay so for example if you want to say uh, one customer and one material so if you enter two lines whatever transactions are done whatever billings are done for that particular 
combination of customer and material that would be treated as a total business volume. Okay, so what I want to tell the system is I want to tell the system that I want to consider whatever sales I have done against this particular material. Okay, and from when to when, so I want to consider only that sales which is done from 10th of April 2023 to 30th of April 2023. Okay, and which materials? So I can select the materials from here. So I already created some scenario, I'm just using that. So I'll use this biscuits four here. Okay, this is a material which I want to include in my contract. Now this uh, we are done for the business volume selection criteria. The next is settlement calendar. Settlement calendar means when are you going to perform the settlement? When are you going to uh, provide this discount to your customer? So here also uh, there are different options. Since our uh, contract that I'm creating is only for one month, within the month it is getting over. And that is the reason there is no need of accruals or partial settlements. Normally one time settlement we will do. But if you have a contract, let's say for one year and you want to perform the settlement at the end of every month. OK, if you want to create a credit memo at the end of every month, then throughout uh, the contract life cycle, every month you'll be able to do the partial settlement and towards the end of that particular contract, you can do the final settlement. OK, so if you click on this system, will give you the option what kind of settlement you want to do, whether you want to do the final settlement, one time settlement, or you want to do the partial settlement at the end of every month, or you can also do the accruals. Accruals means if you are not creating the credit memo at the end of the month, but you know that this is an amount which is accumulated for that particular customer, then you can show as accruals also. OK, in our case, I'm taking the simple example, but yes, if you uh, if you are working on the project and uh, you need our expertise in this particular thing, we can definitely help you from the configuration point of view also. Okay, so you'll go for final settlement and you need to enter the settlement date. So in our case, I'm using the settlement date as 30th of April, 2023. Okay, so now settlement uh, calendar is also available. Now I'll go to the lines. Okay, these are the conditions where I need to tell the system how much percentage I am going to provide as a subsequent discount. So you will again click on this plus button. Now these are some of the condition types which are pre-delivered by SAP. Okay, again through the configurations, uh, uh, we can, uh, if you want, we can change those uh, condition types and we can create our own condition types. But these are the ones which are pre-delivered by SAP. So for rebate, I will use RES1. Calculation type, again, whether you want to uh, give the fixed amount or you want to give the uh, discount as per the different quantities, okay, whether you want to provide the discount on the total gross or weight amount. So according to whatever is your criteria, okay, so I'm keeping it simple percentage, which means whatever will be the total sales, let's say 10% of that will be given as a, a subsequent discount to the customer. But if you want to uh, even create the scales also, that is also possible. So you can say, if a customer has bought this much worth of material, I'll give him this much fixed amount. If the customer has uh, bought more than 10,000, but less than 50,000, then I'll give this much fixed amount. If the customer has done the sales for more than 50,000, then I'll give him this much fixed amount. So you can create the scales also. Okay, I'll just click on percentage and I can enter the rate here as let's say 10%. So whatever is the total sales in that particular month, I'm going to provide 10% as a rebate to that customer. Okay, that's all. So we entered all the details in the contract. We specified which customer, what is the contract uh, validity for which sales organization, what would be considered and when the settlement will be performed. Okay, and how much percentage we want to provide the rebate. Once you are done with this, you need to release this uh, contract. Okay, either you do it before saving or you can do after saving also. I will release it first and then I'll save it. So now this condition contract has been created. This is a condition contract number. If you want to display, you can just go to other condition contract, enter the contract number here, press enter and it will show you the condition contract that has been created. So as of now, the status of this contract is just creation. Uh, it has, we have still not done any subsequent transactions with respect to this, uh, this contract. 
now what will happen throughout the month uh, this customer will keep on placing the orders uh, we will keep on delivering the materials we will be keep on delivering the or billing the customer so let's assume a customer has placed the order the normal sap sd cycle so i will go to transaction code va01 and assuming this customer has ordered in this particular sales organization uh, let's take this as our customer it should be the same customer right otherwise the system will not pick that value okay this is a normal sales cycle i don't need to explain this i will take the same material for which the rebate is applicable let's assume 10 quantity okay i'll enter my plant and i'll enter the amount okay let's say 1000 per unit Okay, so everything seems to be okay. Let's try to click on save to generate the sales order. So sales order number has been created, 183. Uh, we need to perform the delivery. Let me see whether this order status is confirmed. So we can do the delivery on 25th of April only. Okay, so this might be because of uh, the scheduling activity, transportation time and all system has automatically determined that we can only deliver this material to the customer on 25th of April. So we will go ahead and we will do the delivery. Okay, but definitely because it is confirmed on 25th of April, we cannot do it before that. Our shipping point, enter. Okay, so you'll go to picking, storage location, how much quantity we are delivering? We are delivering the full quantity and I'm performing the PGI. Okay, so now uh, our outbound delivery has been completed and we are ready with billing. So we can bill to the customer. I'll go to transaction code VF01. Against this delivery document, I'll perform the billing. So you can see I'm billing the customer for 10,000. Okay, so I just uh, fast forwarded the sales cycle, but if you are interested to understand the complete sales cycle, what is sales order, uh, delivery. So I have created a video for also for that O2C video, you can search on YouTube and you will be able to see uh, the full SD cycle along with the integration of FI video is already available. Okay, so let's try to click on save and generate this billing document. Just ignore this warning messages. Okay, so finally you can see document has been saved, but due to some reason, system is not able to generate the accounting entry. Okay, let's verify what is wrong, why the system is not able to generate the accounting entry. So again, the normal sales cycle, we will go to change billing document and we will try to release this document to accounting. Against warnings. Uh, okay, the error is this customer I only created in sales. It was not created in FI. That is the reason system is giving this error. No problem. I'll just make sure that this customer is also extended to our company code. So for that, you will go to BP because this is SAP S for HANA. I think it is not copied properly. Okay, this was our customer number. So as of now, it seems it is only ex uh, created for FLCU 01. We need to extend this customer to FLCU 00 which is for the company code. Okay, company code data. And here our company code is BRIT. I need to provide the reconciliation account. Let's assume this is my domestic customer and click on save. Okay, this is uh, the test example. Don't think that this is a real example. You, this is just one student suggested to use this particular name. That is the reason we are using it. But otherwise, this is a complete test system. Okay, now uh, we were getting the error at the time of billing because this customer was not created. Let's now go to VF01 and try to perform the, I think the delivery document was 88 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it was already created. So I'll go to VF02, only accounting was pending. So this is our accounting document. And if I try to release it now, Okay, so you can see document has been saved, which means the accounting entries are created. Okay, normally, as if you want to see what is the accounting entry, you can go to this accounting. Accounting documents are generated and you can see customer has been debited and revenue account has been credited. 
Okay, fine. So this was the sales cycle. Now let's go back to our condition contract management and see how we'll be able to give the discount, subsequent discount of this 10,000 total sales volume to the customer. So first of all, again, you will go to logistics. Within logistics, you will go to settlements management, condition contract management. And here, we already understood the master data where we created the contract. Now we are going into the settlement. Within settlement, you will go to customer because this is a customer sales document. Or even before that, if you want to see the report, like how much uh, value is already accumulated for this particular contract. So you can go to this report, WB2R underscore business volume. So if you enter your contract number and you click on execute, what is the business volume? You can see the business volume is 10,000. Okay, out of this 10,000, we are going to provide 10% subsequent discount, which means if I proceed to the settlement, system will give credit memo of 1,000 to this customer, which is 10% of the total business volume that customer has done in a month. Okay, in this example, I took just one billing document, but throughout the month, if there are n number of billing documents, whatever will be the total sales volume, based on that system will be calculating the subsequent discount. Okay, now once this is done, you can go back and you can do the actual settlement. So for that, you will go to customer and you will uh, double click on this settlement, WB2R underscore SC. Okay, here you will enter the settlement date. Make sure that the settlement date is same as what you have entered in the contract creation, okay, in the settlement calendar. Enter the condition contract number and if you want to do the test run, you can do the check run first okay so this is a test run but if you want to do the actual run you need to come here and you need to perform the lab run let's carry out the check run first so execute just to verify if there are no errors you can see one condition contract uh, settlement date settled successfully which means there is no error okay everything is green we can go back and we can remove this to live run and perform the execution okay so condition contract settlement date settled successfully which means now you will be able to see the accounting document which has been created okay so this is the credit memo which is created if you want to see this click on this contract it will take you to the contract screen and from contract screen you can see for this particular contract the final settlement is already performed and this is the credit memo which has been created for 1000 INR which is 10% of total business volume okay so I hope you understood how rebate processing is handled in SAP if you want some help in the project where you are, you are getting stuck and you want our involvement you can definitely reach out to us thank you bye